Good afternoon, happy Easter, and welcome into Mary's Kitchen today. How are you all doing in this lockdown? Uh, I've been talking to a few of my friends uh, this morning overseas, and I just want to say a special hello to Sylvia and David. And uh, we had a good laugh, um, hoping that they're going to get over to Scotland at some point. I just came on a few minutes early, uh, so I'm just waiting to see who's coming on. And then I'll start with my crispy uh, onion badgies or pakora. They're very, very similar. I think they're just called different names in different regions. Hi, Paolo. And hi, Julia. How are you? And Kathy. Kathy, how are you doing? You dancing around your kitchen? <laughs> um, I don't know if uh, many of you are... Uh, I have a lot of followers in the States, obviously. Hi, Pam. And I don't know how familiar you are with Indian food, but of course here in the UK, we practically have an Indian restaurant in every corner. So we're real lovers of Indian food for the most part. And uh, I've been cooking it for in excess of 30 years now. I just love Indian food so much. And of course, you understand I have a great love of chilies. Mary, the queen of chilies. Uh, as you can see here, I've got them all nicely cut up in my, I've got one red chili here and one green chili. These aren't very hot ones either. These are Serrano chilies. They're not very hot. I mean, I really can go for the hot stuff like uh, uh, ghost pepper and the Carolina Reaper. <clears throat> I once got some sausages made with the Carolina Reaper. Oh, wow. Whew. <laughs> Even thinking about it. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't pretty. Hi, Paula and Patty and Nicola. Aileen, how are you? Happy Easter to all of you. And Lisa. Aileen, Aileen's a very good friend of mine. We've uh, traveled back and forth to Canada and Florida a lot together over the years and have some very good memories to share. Hi, Jane, how are you? Hope Nicholas is doing the cooking, is he? That's my daughter-in-law on here. <laughs> good to see you. And, uh, in fact, Nicholas just got off the phone to his dad, so, uh, yeah, he gave me a tip to order some stuff on Amazon so the cider doesn't run out <laughs> to order some large quantities of, uh, apple juice. Uh, oh, right. Yeah, Kathy, so you really like authentic Indian cuisine. Yes, well, I do as well and I make everything I, when I make uh, I had a very good friend of mine in Florida Nandini uh, came over to my house and said I made the best doll she's ever tasted and uh, so I couldn't ask for a better compliment than that hey Bev no uh, well you can always see me on here Paula I'm always on on Mary's kitchen doing some videos especially during this lockdown just to G up a wee bit and uh, uh, sometimes I don't have all the ingredients that I need, but I'm not rushing back and forth to the supermarket, obviously. Uh, so I just kind of make do with what I have. But I am running out of chili, so I'm going to have to make a stop pretty soon. Yes, Jane, hi there. How are you all doing? Happy Easter to you and all the family. And Lola, how are you? Happy Easter. And Liz, well, I've got quite a few people coming on now. That's great. Good to see you all. Well, uh, I'm not videoing every single day. I'm sort of just trying to do a video every second day or so, um, <clears throat> just with what I'm making. And I think I'm going to make a prawn curry either tomorrow or the next day. And if I do, I'll come on here live and make it. I'm trying to get some cilantro, some coriander fresh. And uh, that's going to have to be a stop at the supermarket. I didn't want to go this weekend because it's way too busy. Everybody buying Easter eggs and all sorts of stuff. Hi, Katie and Sonia. Hey, Rusty, how are you? We still got snow over there in Canada? <laughs> um, so I had a look uh, and there was too many lineups at the shop. So I decided not, I didn't go in or did, I just drove, did a drive through. Um, <clears throat> so I think what I'll do is maybe save it till Tuesday and go on Tuesday. Hey, Chris from Turkey. How are you? What's the weather like in Turkey? Very, very good. Yes, you got snow, Rusty. I thought you might have snow. I thought, I think you just had another storm. 
Jereen, how are you? Okay, so let me get started. There's quite a few of you on here now. So this is what I'm going to make today is crispy onion veggies or pakora or like vegetable pakora because you can put pretty much anything that you want in this. And I'll show you as we go along and explain a couple of things about this recipe. I got my little induction cooker here beside me. Um, <clears throat> so I'll start that later. So let's start with our onion first. Now I cut the onion in half, not this way this way because for the onion onion badgies have a like nice texture to them and kind of uh octopusy like they have all these sort of onions sticking out of them uh, which is lovely so i just cut the onion like that diagonally and uh yeah you can use your hands for this and put it in a bowl and kind of break them up just so you can see what i'm doing here just kind of break them up with your fingers there we go. Yeah, because you want them all to be separate. That's all part of this dish. And, oh, they're going to smell lovely, aren't they, after I've finished? <laughs> yeah, chilies, onions, garlic, you name it. It's all going on here in Mary's Kitchen today. Uh, all of my favorite things. Um, but I am running out of chili, so that's a bit worrying for me. So I'm going to separate all those onions in a minute. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a garlic clove in here. One garlic clove. And I'm just going to crush this. Normally I just cut them up into pieces. I'm going to crush this one because I want it to go right through the pakura rather than just be in pieces. So we'll give that a crush. Don't waste not, want not. I'll just get that last little bit out of there too. Actually, I think this crusher I use, I think this is a Pampered Chef crusher. Yeah, it is. And I don't think you have to take the skins off, actually. So that's the onions all in there. Hang on. If you're hearing the birds, that's my seagulls making plenty of noise, as they always do, especially if you bring food out into the backyard. So I'm going to cut this really thin, this potato. Hang on. Yeah, slipping on my board here. There we go. And I'm going to make like little thin, thin strips. Okay, very thin. I think there's a little party going on over there. I don't think there should be a party going on over there, but I think they might be, I don't know. Anyway, I'm not asking any questions. I just mind my own business. That's the best thing. Um, okay, so we want these like matchsticks. Okay? Little matchsticks. Who's on here? Sarah. Oh, thanks, Kathy. Uh, thank you very much. I got a lot of compliments on that uh, top I had on the other day with the peace signs all over it. So if anybody wants to get one of those, Kathy uh john's pass um pom pom yeah they have some beautiful stuff in that shop i've taken my friend carrie in there before so she's bought some things in there before uh yeah they've got a lot of great gear like great golfing gear too and just casual stuff that you can wear to the beach and things really really nice in fact it's so easy to to travel with most of the stuff from pom pom because um it doesn't crease. Krista Warnke, Warnke, how are you? Crimson and Clover, Krista, do you remember? Sitting in your bedroom and we used to have those um, pajama parties as kids and play Crimson and Clover over and over. <laughs> and what was the other one? Uh, sugar, Sugar. I remember that. We had these records that we used to play over and over and over again. It was really, really funny. So... Krista, nice to see you and happy Easter to you. She's one of my old pals from Canada since we were kids. So here I've got a good mix. In fact, I'm going to do this with my hands. I'm going to put a little bit of salt in here. I'm going to put a little bit of salt and sea salt preferably. And I'm going to put some pepper in here too. If you've got um, sea salt, prefer you use that. So I'll just use my hands in here and break all these onions up. Yeah. I wanted to show, I don't know if my friend Lorna came on. I wanted to show Lorna something. Maybe she's busy today. I wanted to show her uh, something that I've got from 20 years ago. 
and she'll probably catch this later on so she'll see it so I'll show you all it was something she gave me 20 years ago and I've still got it um, I'll show you in a second once I get all these onions broken up there beautiful and so you just want them all oops one got away that's okay just want them all nice and mixed up so they're all okay now you could uh this is what i wanted to show lorna i don't know if lorna lorna you've come on happy easter love hey watch this lorna you're not going to believe it remember this towel look at there's leah there's leah i've had this towel for 20 years and i wanted to show lorna that's your surprise today lorna <laughs> hi trish so i just thought i'd show you that this is a towel lorna's little daughter made 20 years ago at school and all the little kids put their little drawings on it. I thought it was so sweet. And I've still got that. And that's lovely, beautiful Leah right there. So you can share this video with Leah. This was from uh, Black Nest Primary School. So I wanted to share that with Lorna. I just hunted that out today. So that was a little bit of fun. Hi, Bridget. Ah, uh, how are you? And Magda. Sailing ships. Uh, oh, you got some. Oh, we had some favorite songs. So that back in the day. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do, I've got one red chili and one green chili here chopped. I'm putting them in. Don't waste any of it. Whatever you do. Now, you can use a curry powder if you don't have this mix of powders that I'm going to give you. Hi, Erica. Ah, uh, yeah, Lorna, isn't that great? It's a nice little memory, but I use it all the time. I mean, it's a little stained, but it's clean, and uh, uh, I've had it all those years. You can use this curry powder, or you can use your coriander, your turmeric, and cumin, and chili uh, to make up the mix. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'll, I'll just use curry powder today because we're sort of budgeting on things, aren't we? So I'm just going to put about a tablespoon in there. If I had some fresh coriander, I would love to put that in. I'm going to put a little bit. Last time I made these, which was just about a week or so ago, I didn't put any baking soda in. This is really an experiment for me. I wanted to try that because I think it'll help puff them up a little bit. So I'm just going to try a little baking soda. So if you wanted to do a mix, um, I'm going to put a little chili powder in here. Yeah. Um, it's not really necessary to measure everything. Just, you know, put a decent quantity in. Uh, like about a tablespoon. That's what I would say. Okay, so we're going to mix that all in. There we go. Now, the flour that I'm using today is called gram flour. And it's made with yellow split pea and chickpeas. And it's ground up. So for you, uh, uh, Lorna, that's nice. Yeah, Kathy, that tea towel is a great memory. For for those of you that don't, this is called Bisan flour. Uh, for if you don't have any, don't worry. Just use normal flour. Uh, however, if you've got some brown rice in, you could grind your brown rice up and use a rice flour if you want it. Um, I'm not sure about coconut flour. Uh, oh, sorry. I'm gonna put one egg in here first. One egg. I got one loose onion. Yeah, one egg goes in here. I hope one, I might have to put two. We'll see, we'll mix it up and see what we feel like. See if we're gonna add an extra egg. So I'm just making that all wet. These are really, really easy and these are wonderful snack food um, that you're, you know, when you're in India, or not in India, but when you have an Indian. It's usually about a cup of flour I think that's probably about a half a cup there. I just want to see how this mixture is going to hold together. And I'm going to turn my pan on and I'm going to put some oil, sunflower oil in my pan. I'm going to bring my pan up to the front, but I'll just get this heated up. <clears throat> and then I want to save some of this oil afterwards. It, you can deep fry these, but it's better just to do them on a flat pan like this. I'm going to get in here with my hands, sorry because I want it to all hold and bind together. Yeah, it's perfect. It's nice and sticky. Yeah, good. Might even put a wee bit more flour in there. Sorry, my hands are going to be absolutely ming and filthy, but that's all right, isn't it? 
Hey Gail, how are you? And Tammy and Susan. So I'm just gonna mix this with my hands. And that's just mixing the flour sticking to the sticking to the onions. I should have brought something out here to wash my hands with, but anyway, never mind. Normally when I'm in the kitchen cooking myself. Uh, I, 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 you could put another egg in here if you wanted, but I'm not going to because uh, I'm a little short on eggs at the moment and I don't know when I'm going to get any more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit more. My flour, my hands are a bit messy. Hang on, I'm going to have to use Lorna's tea towel to get this stuff off my hands. Hang on. Just put a bit of water in there too. A little touch of water. I got a little bowl of water here just to put on my hands. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit more flour. Tiny bit more flour with my Mecky hands. There we go. You can do it with a fork if you want, but if you get in there and get this all sticking together nicely. I'm going to put a little bit more water in here. Just a touch. I made these the other day. They turned out absolutely fabulous. It is messy, but you know, that's what cooking's all about, isn't it? Uh -huh. Hi, Pat. There. So we got pretty much a ball of onion. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this over slightly. And these all kind of, it's kind of like an onion fritter. This is kind of like an Indian street food. All right. It's all sorts of, uh, you know, when people are walking down the street, like you get in Thailand and stuff, lovely street food places to eat. I should have thought about bringing a cloth out here, shouldn't I? So I'm afraid I'm going to have to muck this cloth up, Lorna. Sorry about that. But it's okay. I'll put it right in the washing machine. <laughs> I don't usually get this mucky when I'm cooking. But this time, I have some water here. Okay, so there we go. Got that all off my fingers. Okay, what I'm going to do is just move this out of the way a little bit. I'm just bring my cooker over so you can see what I'm doing. Hopefully it doesn't spit in me in the face. There, can you see that? Okay, all right. I'm just gonna sit back a little bit, just in case. So I'm just gonna take, really what you do is if you have a bowl full of water here and you wet your hand, it usually binds these together better. Okay, just drop them in the pan like that. It's almost like kind of onion rings, but there's potato in there too, you see? See? It's very simple. Now if you just wet your hand and get some more, it all sticks together beautifully. Just drop them in there. Ah, these are turning out very nice. I'm going to turn that heat down a wee bit. I want them to cook slower rather than fast. Uh, I want them to be crispy. So you can see how they all, just put them in like so. I'm gonna try and get them all in this pan so I can get them all cooked at the same time. And, mm, they smell delicious. I think I got about, uh, just dip your hands in a bit of water before you do this. And as I said, I got a bit of baking soda in there. I think I like that. I think I like the way the baking soda is having the effect on the on the flour. I'm just about finished here. Just bear with me. Good. And I got maybe two more out of here to put in. These are lovely, lovely, crispy appetizers. Indian appetizers. Really, really nice. And I'm going to show you how to make the dipping sauce too. 
as long as you're not bored. <laughs> Hi, Susan. Sylvia. Just lick it off my fingers. Mmm, you're right. It does. It tastes good. I got a little bowl of water here. I'll just give my hands a little wash. I can't work with dirty fingers. <laughs> so I'll just give them a wee wash. So just watch these. And I'm going to show you how to make the dipping sauces. There's two different dipping sauces that you can that I use for my pakora when I make them. Or onion badgies, whatever you want to call these. There we go. Here, I got another cloth here. Yeah, these are coming up beautifully. So, I make a little dipping sauce. Aren't they nice? They look so good. Let's just turn them. Let's look at the one of the first ones. No, just let them brown nicely. So I've got one, two. I made nine. All right. Now I'm going to make a prawn curry probably tomorrow. Uh, so this will be the sort of starter, the appetizer. And then I will uh, have that first and then my pakora. So the dipping sauce is really, really simple. And I'm just going to push this over a little bit so you can see. It's fun cooking outdoors and you can hear all the birds. So um, it's just a little bit of ketchup. So let's say uh, you could do, say, three tablespoons. I, I'm not making a huge amount. I just one, two, three. Yeah, that's enough. Three tablespoons. Now, if you have some fresh mint or you have jarred mint, um, put about a tablespoon of that in. I haven't got any of the jarred mint, so I've got my uh, dried mint. I'm going to use that and put that in. About a tablespoon. Um, I'm going to put a little pepper in here, and I'm going to put a little salt. I'm also going to put some... Uh, Oh, I thought I forgot my knife. That would have been crazy. Anyway, I'll just cut this. I'm going to put a little bit of lemon in here. A squeeze of lemon. So I've got about three tablespoons of tomato ketchup in there. And I've got about a tablespoon of mint. Now, any hot sauce that you have, I'm using this one, a hot pepper sauce. You know, shirachi, whatever you have. Put just uh, oh, about a teaspoon of that in. And if you've got some um, curry, uh, not curry, uh, chili, dry some chili, put that in there too. The hot sauce, you know, takes over from the, from the uh, chili, so you don't need to worry so much. So that's really your dipping sauce for these lovely little things here, cooking beautifully. And you need to cook them, cook them slowly, not, don't cook them fast. Oh, beautiful. Okay, that's, oh, that's gorgeous. It's got a nice heat to it. And you can really taste the mint coming through. Okay, if you had some fresh coriander, you could have cut that up and put that in with your mix here too. The other thing that you could use, you could use onion and you could use uh, zucchini, courgettes, and cut them up in little matchsticks and mix them in. So these are really like a vegetable bakura. So you can really kind of mix anything you want in here. There, beautifully beautiful you're gonna see these when they're all finished so simple to make and as i said don't worry if you don't have garum uh, uh gram flour gram flour garum flour i was gonna call it uh don't worry uh you could uh make use rice flour you could use any kind of flour that you have really but this is more authentic using gram flour because um in indian food they tend to cook more with uh gram flour and uh, chickpeas and things like that. There we go. Now these are coming out beautifully. I bet you all want to come over here and have one of these, don't you? <laughs> I wish you could. I wish you could. I bumped into a few of my neighbors on my walk today at a distance. Just they were, a, one was on a bike and one, yeah, both of them were on bikes actually riding by. So there we go. That is our beautiful crispy onion bhajis or pakora. And that's your lovely, very easy to make dipping sauce. Uh, so you don't need to run off to the Indian carry out. Who's on here? Linda and Sarah. Hi. I know. I bet you all would love to have one. 
Well, and I'm going to keep that oil. What I'm going to do is, because I'm running a little bit low on oil, this is sunflower oil that I have this cooking in. Um, and I'm going to, uh, after I finish using that, I'm going to sift that just to get any crumbs and stuff out and just keep it for another shot of whatever I'm making. Um, I don't normally fry things in oil like this, but this particular recipe you need to. There's no really other way of doing it. And look at them, very authentic and much more authentic actually looking. If you were on the streets of India and buying street food, this is what it would look like. Exactly what it would look like, not the kind of pakora balls that you, you buy. So this is the, there we go, that one's falling a bit apart, but that's okay. You can eat all these little bits, these little crummy bits in there. So that just takes, I don't know, I just let them uh, cook on one side till they get nice and brown and then flip them over. Obviously if you had a little bit more oil in the pan, it would slightly cook them better and you wouldn't have to turn them over uh, if you were sort of deep frying them a little bit. You could deep fry them, but I prefer this method because you can keep control of the, the, you know, the structure of the onion badgie. It doesn't fall apart. Who's on here? Hi Catherine! And Janice, how are you? <laughs> yeah, these are going to be... Hi, Wendy. Happy Easter to everybody. <laughs> yeah, sending out some good Happy Easter wishes. Um, yeah, i got a plate here. But I'm just going to put these on in a moment. I want to make sure... Because you got potato in there. Although it's just matchstick, you want to make sure that it's cooked right or it's going to be a bit crunchy. So that one looks about ready, I would say. There you go. And I've just got a little sheet of paper towel here just to drain them on but you can see how nice they look absolutely beautiful I think I'm going to be having one of these for my lunch I haven't had any lunch yet today so the the joke the joke I guess everybody's heard we're either going to be all joining the AA when we're through this lockdown or we're all going to be joining Weight Watchers I don't know which <laughs> I haven't been eating that much actually probably one meal a day that's about it who else is on here? Peter, how are you? Well, would you like one? Peter, some dipping sauce? So let's just try this. Just eat them with your fingers. These are great for a party too, you know. You can make them a little bit smaller. Mmm, perfect. Absolutely perfect. They're ready. There we go. Aren't they gorgeous? Really, really lovely. So simple to make. Um, I was going to do a series on Mary's Kitchen some time ago. I never really got around to do it. A curry series. And uh, I haven't really had a chance to do it yet. But I will. Because I've been making curries for a very, very long time. We get some loose bits in here, but that's okay. Just scoop them up. Scoop them in. And I like it with the baking soda in here. There. Yeah, because I think it gives a little fluffier texture to the flour. There we go. So that's your crispy onion badgies or pakora. I'm going to just turn that off because it makes a little bit of noise. But it's nice to have because it can cook outside with it. Just watch that fat. Don't let that fat go anywhere near you. Hang on. Let me just put this. Uh, don't want to mess around with that. There we go. Okay, so that's your onion badgie. And as I said, you can put various vegetables in there too. You can put some red, green peppers, yellow peppers. You can put zucchini in there. Um, just basically anything. You could put green beans in here if you wanted. So I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to get on in, uh, in a day or two and make, it might be tomorrow. I just have to see what the ingredients situation is. Uh, and make a prong curry so you'll enjoy that simple and easy the things that I'm doing on here are simple and easy for you to do okay and if you have any questions just put them in the comments and I generally get back to you as soon as I can Peter you want one of these I bet you do um, anyway there we go so happy Easter everybody all right and if you see someone without a smile give them yours have a great day bye